Welcome to Warhammer Demons. This episode is entitled Assembling Epidemius. Uh, it's really not an episode as much as a test. This is my first time doing this sort of thing, so I wanted to make sure that I had the lighting all right, the exposure set, that you can hear me okay, and that I get the, the file size not too big, not too small, before I upload it onto YouTube. And I thought, hey, why not give the folks some uh, marginal content while I'm at it here? Uh, as you can see before you, you have the model of Epidemius. He is a character for the Warhammer Demons. He can be used in both Fantasy and 40K. It is pronounced Epidemius. It's not Epidermis or Epididymis or anything else like that. He is a special character. Uh, some of you that know me might say, Dev, isn't this kind of hypocritical? you got this special character here. I'm not a big fan of special characters. It used to be that you could only use them with your opponent's consent. I was fine with that. Uh, every now and then, me and my buddies would get together and have a big 3,000 point knockdown, no holds barred battle, and we'd throw some special characters in. But come on, people. I know you can take them. There's nothing against it. But Skull Taker and Teclas aren't going to show up for a Tuesday night battle. You know, Keep them on your shelf, paint them up, they look nice, use them for heroes, other things, but don't bring them every time. Uh, enough about that, I'll get down off my high horse now about special characters. Uh, what I plan on using this model for is as a Herald of Nurgle on a Palanquin. Uh, it's perfect for that, it, here's a big guy here, he's the Herald and he's riding on a Palanquin. For 50 points, it's going to give you 6 Poison attacks and uh, gives the guy a six plus save. Probably not the the neatest thing on the six plus save. Going to be relying on his ward save anyway and his high toughness. But it also will increase his frontage for the amount of models he comes into contact for the noxious vapors. I, I believe it is that will make those enemies strike last. Uh, putting him together was uh, was a pain. He's definitely. Uh, one of the a more difficult model in the series that you can try and put together he's he's made of metal a lot of filing to do and also this guy is going to require pinning if he didn't have pins in him he would not be together now uh, there's two parts to the base of the plank one here those fit together like a ring stand on top of it then then there's the base of his chair then him and the back is a separate piece believe it or not this section of the flag the pennant here is separate. Uh, I've got that pinned there. This arm could probably have stood on its own, but I went ahead and put a pin in it. The back of the chair, I also went ahead and pinned that. Um, and there's this guy, he's a little nurgling, and looking at the box, uh, looking at the pictures in the different books. I can't figure out where he goes. I don't know if he's just an extra little bonus guy, but if anybody can let me know where he's supposed to fit into this model, please, please let me know. The base wouldn't sit flat. I didn't want it to wobble, so I don't know if you can see it. I put a little wooden shim in there to keep it, keep it all sturdy and free from wobble. What I think I'm going to do with this guy, normally I, I like to prime my stuff white. I think for him I'm going to go black. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in here that might just be hard to reach and get coverage on if I prime it white so if I do it black I can just leave it and it'll look like shadow. Uh, truth be told I probably could have used some green stuff on this guy I've never never played around with it before so he's, he's gonna be as is. Uh, some other things that I have been working on here I've got I've been on sort of a Nurgle kick this is an older style plague bearer I don't know if you guys are familiar with this model, but the sword was in his left hand, and I cut the the blade off and cut the pommel off, and I, I put them into his right hand, pinned through the hand there, and I took an old Beastman banner, and I went ahead and I made a standard bear so that I can have an extra one for my unit of plague bears. Other things that are on the list to be painted soon. I don't know if anybody will recognize this. It's fairly old. It is a Beast of Nurgle. I need to get some different bases for him. This guy's on a 25 millimeter by 50 millimeter cav base and now I believe the models are on a 40 millimeter square base. So I'm 
probably cut some thin plastic and put it underneath there to make it 40 millimeters wide at the front but uh, he's got a little bit of extra length that I don't really feel like cutting off so it'll be a little bit bigger than it needs to be so thanks for watching let me know what you think hopefully if I can figure out how to make this work and put it up on the YouTube I'll be doing future installments of Warhammer Demons where we look at the demon army for the Warhammer Fantasy Battles game